terms of silencing the opposition and getting away with it. We have a regional newspaper in Mexico saying that the violence against its journalist and the lack of punishment for those responsible is forcing them to stop printing. They said that Sunday's edition will be its last, and it's not clear whether they will continue to publish online. Now, Miroslava Breach was a journalist who worked for the paper, and she was shot dead last month. She was one of three journalists that was killed in Mexico in March. Now, she was reporting extensively on the links between organized crime and the politicians in Mexico. She was shot eight times in her car outside of her home. She had a child in the car that was not hurt, but the gunman left a note that said, for being a loudmouth. So this is continuing, and with no one getting punished, or the cops not going after those that are doing this because of all the corruption, it's effectively silencing some of these papers and outlets because they're killing the journalist and basically putting everything that they've got to bring to the table in the dark. And these killings have prompted the government to basically say that they do not have the means to tackle the organized crime. But I wanted to share this because it shows how easily they can silence an outlet by just killing the journalist when the law enforcement and government are doing nothing to crack down on that. It just silences everything in this area. And once they do that, they can get away with what they were doing before, which nine times out of ten, this is leading to corruption. I'll leave a link. I'll continue to update. If I hear any more on this or any other events related to this, it's been Dabu7.